in collaboration with Silvana Restivo, we give a book. Hello everyone, I'm Agata Sandrone. In collaboration with Silvana Restivo, we give you welcome to this reportage. Among the oldest Sicilian traditions and related to marriage, we find certainly the famous Fuitina. The Fuitina consisted in a love getaway established by mutual agreement by the two young people, the families, to the discovery of the elopement of their respective children, gave themselves to scenes of despair as screams and shouts. When the young couple returned home, the parents, to save the good name of the families, made them get married. In the past, it was also a very common practice, especially to prevent those arranged marriages wanted by the heads of families who tried to improve their economic and social situations. The aspiring spouses chose the Fuitina for lack of money or because engaged for years had to wait a long time before they could marry. The couple who decided to elope stayed out of the house for two, three days, which for the family represented the longest days of their existence because first they thought of all kinds of accident or mixed fortune such as kidnapping with ransom demand, so feared in those times. But when the truth was discovered, the drama began. The mother's anger sparked and the jealous rage of the father, threatening to kill the one who stole his daughter. Upon the return of the couple, an agreement was reached with the family of the kidnapper until the celebration of the long-awaited wedding. A very simple and strictly religious ceremony no big invitations, no lavish lunches, no wedding dress, no white dress. Marianina Coffo has been called Saffo Siciliana, but also the Capinero of Noto, which means black cap, because her life seems to come straight from a story by Verga. In 1859, she fell in love. The spark strikes at the piano for the music teacher Ascenzo Maugeri. He is handsome, tall, blonde, cultured, with aspirations as a playwright. They get engaged with the consent of the family and plan to get married. But in 1860, the father forces the daughter to break her promise for a good match, the wealthy landowner Giorgio Morana from Ragusa. Ascenso asks her to run away together, but Mariannina is trapped by the dense net of social norms and renounces love to obey her father. Immediately after the wedding, she moves to Ragusa to live in the house of the despotic father-in-law with a husband who strictly forbids her to write. Writing, she's constantly told, in the hands of a woman is an instrument of perdition. For Emilia, Ciccio was the fourth boyfriend to whom she said no to the Fuitina, but Ciccio was handsome, tall and contented by the girls of the town. Grandma Anna, Ciccio's mother, sent an embassy to Emilia, warning her that she risked losing her son if she didn't agree to run away with him. Emilia had always dreamed of getting married in a white dress, but after having refused three previous boyfriends who had proposed to Fuitina, she accepted that of Ciccio's, also because she was in love with him and with a heavy heart agreed to run away. It was February 1950. He rented a horse and a cart and left for Santo Stefano di Quisquina, a village in the Sicilian hinterland, where they were hosted by cousins. After three days, they returned to the village at the home of Grandma Anna, and after two months, on April 30, they got married. They lived together for almost 60 years and had four children. Come si chiama? Piazzese Carolina. Che età aveva quando si è sposata? Indigeni. Carolina and the others were between 14 and 15 years old when they made their fuitina. Their husbands were bricklayers, farmers, and manual workers in Germany. No, siamo fuggiti, ora siamo tutti d'accordo. No, siamo fuggiti. Tutti d'accordo, non siamo fuggiti. Siamo dati il primo bacio e ci siamo fatti fidanzati. Poi mia mamma si accorse che praticamente Lorena was 14 years old and attended the first year of the artistic high school 
After yet another quarrel with her mother, she decided to elope with Antonio. Initially, they go to live at her parents' house, but then they take an apartment. Lucia was 17 years old, and in October 2003, she decided to elope. Initially, when her boyfriend proposed to her to run away, she said no. She was afraid of the reaction of her brothers. Once the decision was made with a thousand euros in her pocket and the bare essentials, she decided to escape. He, 22, and she, 23 years old. In September 1948, they decided to elope. They were engaged at home, and to get married they will have to wait several years. The economic possibilities did not allow otherwise. When they decided to run away, since it was early, they went to the movies. Then they took a carriage to the house where they stayed for three days. They got married in January 1949. My Fuidina, I kidnapped my husband. With this, Silvana and I say goodbye until the next time.